Let's move now to the third of the three methods for creating forms and reports. Just to review, the first method we used was just the automatic button it created one for you. The second method we used was the query wizard, not the query wizard, but the report and form wizard. And the third method we're going to use is to create a query first in Design View, and then we'll go back and use the wizard to create the report, form or report. So we'll start with the query that we'll make, and then we'll take that query as the source to create the form or report. Let's go see an example of that. Here I have the table that we've been working on, the database. It has those two tables, the client table and the recruiter table. And in the method number two for forms and reports there, we use the wizard to create that report. Well, this time let's use a query. I'll go up and click create on uh, create tab and then query a design view. Yes, I know there's a wizard there, but typically we'll just use design view. I'm going to add, oh, I'll just add both tables so I show you a more complicated example. I'll add both at the same time. Obviously, I didn't get it, did I? I'll go back to the show table button, or I could right click show table, either one, See if I can do a better job of clicking this time. There we go. Okay. I can resize if I want. Don't have to. Remember that the two tables are linked because they have the same name, the same data type, and the same field size. I'm also going to just move this up. It's just for my convenience. Let's say, <clears throat> let's say, let's do this. Let's take the recruiter's first name. I'll double click on it. You remember also that you can click and drag. Erf. Um, first name of, of last name of recruiter. And then let's put the client's name and the client's city. Yeah, okay. Mm. Let's run it to be sure it works. Remember that you can either click the run button or you can just change the view to the data sheet view. They're both the same. And there's my data view of it. But remember, I want an information view that looks prettier. So, so let's save this. Uh, I'm going to come way over on the right-hand side and close my query. I will name it um, re uh, I'm going to call it Clients by Recruiter Query. There's a trick to that, by the way. That's not part of this video. And notice now that I have this query called Clients by Recruiter Query. Now I can go up. Oh, shall we make this a form this time just to be different? We'll create a form. We'll use the wizard. And my source this time is going to be the clients by recruiter query. I want all of those fields, so I'm going to click the double right arrows to move all of the fields over in that order. And I'm going to organize them by recruiter. Uh, I usually take the format they recommend. And I'll have, yeah, that'd be nice to have a form with a subform. Sure, that sounds good. And so here now I have a form on the screen that shows the recruiter's information and below that all of the clients of that recruiter. And if you come down to the bottom, you'll see that we have four. Remember with a form, you'll only see one record at a time. And there are my four recruiters and all of their clients listed under it. So that's creating a form or report, whichever, by first making a query and then creating the former report from the query.